The Battle of Summer was fought between the Soviet Union and Finland, in two phases, first in December 1939 and then in February 1940. It was part of the Winter War and was fought near the village of Summer along the main road leading from Leningrad to Vyapuri. Chapter 1 First Battle in December The village of Summer was a gateway to the city of Vyapuri. The Finns had built 41 reinforced concrete bunkers in the summer area, and the defense line was stronger than elsewhere in the Karelian Isthmus. However, the Finns had made mistakes in planning and nearby Munasuo Swamp, east of summer, had a kilometer-wide gap in the line. At least 20 tanks drove through the line in the first day of battle, but the Soviets did not have proper cooperation between branches of service, tanks, artillery and troops fought their own battles. The Finns stood still in trenches and allowed the Soviet tanks to move behind the defense line on December 19, as they did not have proper anti-tank weapons. After that the Finns repelled the Soviet main troops. Soviet tanks cut off behind the line aimlessly attacked Finnish strongpoints, but once these were eliminated the threat was over. The Finns won the battle on the 22nd of December. Chapter 2, Second Battle in February as the Soviets found it too difficult to breach the line at the summer sector, they attacked 10 kilometers to the east in a sector known as Lod. If they broke through there then they could encircle the Finns holding the summer position. Timoshenko knew he could beat the Finns in a battle of attrition. His plan was to wear them down and go for an intense final attack. First large probing actions were launched against the Finnish lines. For over 10 days the line held every position. On the 11th of February, the Soviets began their major assault. On the 12th of February, a minor breach in the Finnish lines in the Lod sector led to disaster. By that time, so many breaches had occurred in the Monaheim line that the reports concerning them were virtually disregarded. The following morning, a Finnish counterattack was supposed to be launched by the entire 5th Division, the only reserve in easy reach of the front line, but only one of the three regiments was available as the other two regiments had to be dispatched elsewhere. Only two Finnish battalions launched a counter-attack against two well-supplied Soviet regiments that were equipped with armor and artillery. The attack was thrown back with heavy Finnish casualties. The Soviets made efforts to exploit this prominently. One tank regiment proceeded as far as the Lod Road Junction but then halted. Although complete victory was in their grasp, the Soviets stopped their armored spearhead. Many Finnish companies were reduced to half their original strength. One company had lost 86 out of 110 men. Overnight from the 14th to the 15th, the Finns began withdrawing from the summer position. On the morning of the 15th the Soviets attacked an empty position at summer with more than 100 tanks and two divisions. That afternoon, Monaheim ordered a general retreat to the intermediate line. 